what do we want to say in this story? What are we after? Because, and, and I have an example of a story that we'll talk about a little bit later, where it's that sort of little story with big, big shoulders that is a bright, what we call a bright, you know, everyday slice of life story in the city, but it has a deep message behind it. And Southside does a lot of that. I, I noticed, like, I, I was listening, reading your lit issue, and I'm, I'm reading Christian's story about Nelson Algren. And, you know, I'm enjoying the literature and, and his wacky life. And pretty soon, I'm reading paragraphs that have to do with what is a city about? And how is a city changing? And what should a city be? And those are the things that, you know, may have really contributed to Nelson Algren's depression, you know, as he saw his beloved city change. So that's the that's a kind of two tiered story. I like to go after. And, and um, when thinking about kind of ways that stories can have additional depth. Part of that question is if you start thinking, okay, I have a particular event that I want to cover, or a particular piece of you know, sort of hard news, something has happened. Um, at the weekly, we don't have the capacity or the interest really to do great news, right? We're a weekly publication. And um, so the role of the editor is often thinking, okay, we want to cover the closing of Robeson High School in Hollywood. Um, and you know, the idea that several um, editors and reporters of the week we had was to create an entire project around that. Do an oral history with people from the Robeson community, do a photo essay um, about the closure of the school, do a piece specifically about um, the building itself and how it, the building evolved over time. Um, they produced an hour-long audio documentary. So thinking about interesting and new ways to cover a topic that maybe you know, enable you to go deeper. 